Up next, I wish to invite Madam Ambassador Ku Jingha, Special Representative of the Government of the People's Republic of China, to deliver the People's Republic of China Statement of Commitment to the Sustainable Blue Economy. Welcome, Madam Ambassador. Thank you. Thank you. Your Excellency Heads of Delegations, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, friends, it gives me great pleasure to attend the high-level conference on sustainable blue economy on behalf of the Chinese government. China commends the Kenya government for hosting this conference, which I believe will contribute to global development. I wish this conference a full success. Ocean, the origin of life on Earth and a treasury of resources, is indispensable to our way of production and sustainable development. Blue economy is already part and parcel to the development of ocean countries and has already become a new engine for the global economy. The international community attaches great importance to the development of blue economy. For instance, the conservation and sustainable use of the ocean and marine resources is an important goal included in the UN 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Agenda 2063 of the African Union also aims at making blue economy a major driver for inclusive growth and sustainable development. China is a developing and major marine country. The blue economy plays a critical role in its economy. In recent years, China actively implements a development plan for ocean economy, strengthens ocean conservation and governance, shares ocean-related experience, and continues to make important contribution to global ocean governance and the development of blue economy. China calls for a blue economy partnership. The resolution of ocean-related issues through cooperation and the development of blue economy. At this year's FOCAC Beijing Summit held in September, important consensus was reached between China and Africa on jointly promoting mutually beneficial cooperation in blue economy. Going forward, guided by the innovative, coordinated, green, open, and inclusive approach to development, China will continue to promote coordinated development of its economy, political system, the cultural sector, society, the environment. Focus on improving the quality and efficiency of blue economy development. Step up efforts to implement UN Agenda 2030. At the same time, in jointly building the Belt and Road, China will work for greater complementarity in ocean economy strategies and industries among countries, share our experience in the development of ocean economy, actively explore bilateral and multilateral cooperation ranging from marine resources development and protection, marine culture, fishery, to marine tourism. Through financial and technological support, personal training, etc., China will continue to support African and other developing countries' ocean capacity building. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, during this year's APAC CEO summit, in his keynote speech, President Xi Jinping said, and I quote, as we brave the rough waters of the global economy and confront the many risks and challenges, it is all to be fitting that we have to come together on the same boat to chart the course for future development and cooperation. Likewise, as blue economy is gaining momentum in today's world, it is all too befitting and relevant that we all gather here in the beautiful Kenya, a country bordering the Indian Ocean, to enhance cooperation on blue economy. With full commitment and greater cooperation, China will work with all countries 
to steer the ship of blue economy to an even brighter future. Thank you.